End of the decade for the downloads. <laughs> Take one. Welcome everybody. Welcome back to our channel, The Downloads. Today we're going to be talking about our year. It was a very progressive year. We had a lot of things that we got done this year that we're very proud about. Ending the year off, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely better than how we started. Right. So I'm proud of everything that we've been able to accomplish this year. Thank God that we're able to do all this. Now we have all of these things. We're very grateful for it. Um, one of the reasons why we wanted to make this video is because even though we did a lot of things this year, that were progressive and productive. There was also times that made this year very sad and unhappy and hit my family out of nowhere. I'm talking about we lost a lot of family members this year. So I wanted to make this video to honor them, you know, to let them know that they are the reason why we even go this hard for our family and why we push ourselves every day to be better people for them that we've lost. more in depth about our progress i want to talk to you guys about very meaningful moments another thing we're going to be talking about this year is our goals for the upcoming year 2020 2010s was it was wild you know, yeah up, it was wild <laughs> i grew up a lot in this decade i'm sure i speak for both of us to say it changed both of our lives 2011 i moved here as a freshman at fresno state 2019 i have a family here um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm really, really proud of me for doing a lot of the things that I did in this city and the growth that I've had. Uh, if you've been watching our videos, you know, we kind of just go into it because we just wanted to do things, just throw some stuff on our channel and just show you guys who we are. Honestly, I want to mention a lot of things, but one of the big things that happened to me this year is my son. Like, Aww. I'm very, very, very happy that he was born this year. Mm -hmm. Especially like, on the day that he was born. Yeah, on the day that he was born and everything. Well, he was born um, December 10th, which is the anniversary date of the passing of Terry's grandma. I wish she was here. I know that she was able to see him before we were able to see him. Because I feel like she had a big part in creating him. For him to arrive, the day that he arrived, and the way that he arrived, and the whole process for him to be here. Just the way he came out, it was so beautiful. I, I pulled him out myself, matter of fact. <laughs> don't say pull him out. Say, I pulled I that baby him. out. <laughs> that hands down is the best moment, moment of my year. To start, I didn't even have a job in the beginning of the year. Didn't even have a place to stay for our family. And now, we have a home, I have a job. We were living under her parents' roof in the beginning of this year. So we made that a goal for this year that we're going to get our new home and we're going to be able to do a lot of things for our family. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to go the way it did because we did a whole lot this year. A whole, a whole lot. A whole lot. I knew. I was like, all right, this is just going kind of in sequence <laughs> of how I figured it would be going for us to do better. Mm -hmm. And it did. And then for us to get our apartment, it just kind of topped everything off. And... From that point, I feel like both of us just hit the ground running. Like, we just mm. kept going. We never looked back. And even making this video right now, we're talking about it, but we're still continuing to do a whole yeah. lot together. So, and, 2020 uh, is going to just be a step up from everything we did this year. What else happened this year? I ended up getting an offer for another job in June, right? Mm. So, I'm working two full-time jobs, and, like, we're doing really good financially. Mm -hmm. But at the same time... I had that job for about two months. Like after the first week or so, it started catching up to me and I was like really tired. I was spending no time with my family. It was definitely hard. Only mm -hmm. seeing you like four hours in a day. In a day. And it was a constant cycle every week. But we did it. And it was good, you know, she supported me during the whole time, but I realized that I didn't have no time with my family. I lost a lot of weight, I was super skinny. I think the only positive thing was the money. So I ended up leaving that job because we'd rather have him home. Yeah. We saved up enough, you know, so I could leave the job and plan out the next steps of our lives. Because I knew that when my son gets here, I, I can't only stay home for three hours sleeping and not be present. So I ended up keeping my overnight and I'm spending a lot of more a lot more time with the family. I'm spending a lot more time with our son since he's been here. I, I feel like I've just been stuck on him. <laughs> so... 
I don't know how else to celebrate her birthday this year other than taking her to BeautyCon or not even just BeautyCon, but just supporting her and what she does because I think she's really good at being a makeup artist. So I got her the VIP tickets to mm-hmm. BeautyCon. She got all, all the a, items and yeah, all the stuff. Yeah, it was a beauty bag. Yeah, she got all, all the VIP stuff. And I just wanted to do it as big as I can because last year I proposed to her. So I didn't know how to, <laughs> how to top that. I don't think anything's going to top me getting on one nah. day because I'm never going to do that again. Another thing that I've been doing this entire year is focusing on my DJing and trying to better my craft and find more gigs and get more gigs under my belt so I can have more experience in that field. So this year I've been able to make more connections and you know meet a lot more people that are in that um, in the avenue that I'm trying to go in. So there's a lot of things that I want to do. My sister, I DJ my sister's grad party and um, that was really fun. That was like. I did that before I did the other gigs. That was one of the first gigs I did to where I was like, okay, you know what? I think I can do this. Like, mm-hmm. I DJed a gig for my family. Everybody there, they've known me for a long time. So when I did that, I figured I could DJ pretty much anything. Shout out DJ Delmo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody was loving it. I love it. Oh, a moment that was really fun was when we found out the gender. And we were supposed to do a gender reveal and didn't. We wanted to take uh, maternity photos. Like, we wanted to do all of these things. But just the process of the pregnancy and just being involved in all of that, you know, I was able to just more so help with the pregnancy. And that's fine. You know, we didn't really have time. It wasn't our priority. But it was definitely some things that we wanted to do. Mm-hmm. But I'm really proud that we were able to take care of everything that we needed to take care of during this pregnancy. <laughs> and it was so successful. Yeah. Yeah. So, the next time, we'll do all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the next time. We'll see. Uh, we had a great holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, everything a part of it. We went to Art Hop a lot. Mm-hmm. Never been to Art Hop before this year. Yeah. So everything that's happened in this year, 2019, has definitely pushed us to go even harder for our family and get even closer to God and be better people. In 2019, we can see where we were in the beginning of the year. And then at the end, right now, we are in a much better place. We are actually able to progress. In 2018, I don't even know what we did. It was a lot of, honestly, court court 2018 Mm -hmm. was just a lot of court but we rose above that in 2019 and did everything we can to conquer the goals that we had this year 2019 i'm really happy i give us two thumbs up we pushed (laughs) all the way through that's literally what i wrote down two thumbs up we pushed all the way through and for 2020 we're gonna move for 2020 i definitely want to better my mental health because i've had a lot of down times this year i've had a lot of moments where i beat myself up and i want to limit that and figure out how i can you know handle these situations better another goal as i mentioned earlier is to get closer to god and build my relationship with him because i know that that's the only way we can progress our relationship with this entire family another goal of mine is to find more ways to give back and instill good morals into our children we did a lot of things where we let them be present so they can see what's going on in their parents' lives. So we're trying to show them like we do a lot of things for other people. Another goal of mine is to further my education and utilize my talents, whether it may be DJing, music, and um, you know, getting to know my culture more. Not really too educated on my people. And that also, I'm putting out more videos for our channel, for sure. I want to expand on my salon business, on doing hair and makeup, just trying to expand my clientele. And you know, just make sure my kids are good. Make sure my family is good. I think that's been a consistent goal for my New Year's resolution for last year because we did have so many down points and I really feel satisfied because I feel like I went beyond that goal, so. My last goal that I wrote down, I think this kind of overlaps everything. I want to be a better role model. I want to be a better human. I want to be a better husband. I want to be a better father. I want to be a better son. I want to be a better brother. I want to be a better uncle. I want to be a better nephew. I just want to be a better person. So that's what I want to continue to do.
because I feel like I've already been doing it, but I want to continue to do it and keep going and getting better on different levels. So, yep, that was a lot. And mm -hmm. it's 30. All right, well, yeah, I feel like yep. we really hit on all the I stuff. I think we, we had a great year, year babe. <laughs> I think I can stop looking at these notes and I think I can just tell yeah. you that we did a great. I'm proud of us. I'm hella proud of us. We did amazing this year. I'm, I'm very proud of us. I'm excited for 2020. Yeah, I'm happy we can wake up tomorrow on. morning. <laughs> I can put 2019. I wish I had like a 2019 badge. But I <laughs> 2019, what a year. <laughs> you survived. Right? <laughs> happy New Year's to the world. <laughs> happy New Year's to the people that watch this, man. Happy New Year's to everybody. Mm. We really love and appreciate everybody that supports us and that shows us love and respect. You know, there really is a lot of people that reach out to us on a daily. And we really appreciate that. We don't take it for granted. Because there was times in our life where we had nobody. You know, nobody right. likes being alone. So we're always there for the people that's there for us. And we really appreciate all of y'all that's there for us. Thank y'all so much. We love y'all. Happy 2020. Happy 2020. I gotta go to work. <laughs> I know. I gotta go to work, though. Okay. I love you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm gonna okay. FaceTime. I'm gonna FaceTime you. You do the twos and I do the zeros. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's, babe. What? We genuinely and wholeheartedly appreciate everybody who tunes in and watches our videos. We love each and every one of you. Here is to a prosperous and progressive decade. May all your goals be met and expectations be exceeded. We're in this together. So never think you are alone. The downloads. Man, I'm so proud we did this, babe. Yeah. I gotta get there, though. Ooh. You gotta get there and get there. It's the same time I left yesterday. <sighs> <sighs>